Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch, and this is the Seiko 5 Sports SNZF 17K1. And uh, I like this watch. I don't love it, but I really, really, really like it. And uh, I think it's just about perfect for the price range. So today we're going to talk about the watch. We're going to do some strap changes. We're going to check out the loom and then discuss uh, some other stuff. Anyway, let's get right into it. This uses Seiko's 7S36 automatic mechanical movement. By the way, this is a tomato that I picked off my tomato plant just a couple of minutes ago. It's a Tolstoy. It's really good. It's a hybrid. It's real good. Anyway, Seiko 7S36 automatic mechanical movement beats at 21,600 BPH, employs 23 joules, and has a 43-ish hour power reserve. It is non-hackable, means which means you can't stop the seconds hand. You pull the crown all the way out, see the crown's all the way out, second hand keeps on going. It is also not a wind-down crown, yet it still retains a 100 meter water resistance. So you can go you can go swimming with it, totally go swimming with it. The crystal is a flat mineral crystal, Seiko's Hardlex mineral crystal, and the bezel is a uh, I think it's a 120 click unidirectional you know, bezel. I wrote down 60, but I'm pretty sure it's a 120. Let's count it. Let's count it. We're good. We're going to count it. So we got here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 120 click unidirectional you know, bezel, which is tight yet soft, but um, not overbearing. And I'm not, I'm not trying to like be one of those guys that's like, oh my gosh. You know, if it's not a good clicky clicky, it's not a good watch. I don't really rate watches on the clicky clicky. I just love to, I just love to clicky clicky. It's what I do. It's what I do. Anyway, uh, stainless steel construction throughout, probably 316L, like everything else, because it's cheap and it's good. And, uh, nicely done. Everything's nicely done. The case, there's not too many strange cuts or reflect these situations. The sides are polished. The tops are brushed pretty nicely. There is a transitional area where the polishing overlaps the case and goes into a brushing situation. Uh, you know, very nicely done. Not super crazy, but good enough. The bracelet also brushed and polished on the sides. Uh, they are not solid, even though it looks like they're solid. They're not. You can see the line right there, the line of the fold. Folded very nicely, mind you, but folded very well. But it is, they are hollow. And there is a hollow end link on each side. But still, regardless, uh, it's a good bracelet. I like it. I'll, I like to use these bracelets. They feel good. They're comfortable. And uh, they don't give me any problems. They don't pull my hairs. And I'm kind of a hairy guy. I always, I always hear, by the way, $12 Seiko. I mean, $12 Casio. You guys want me to reveal this $12 Casio? It's, it's got, a, it's got a green light. It's good. It's good. <laughs> I'll review it if you want me to. But, um, this, uh, it, I'm a hairy guy. It doesn't grab my, my arms, my arm hairs. I always hear people having issues with watches grabbing their arm hairs, but I never, ever have that problem. Maybe it's because they're, they're longer. I don't know. I never have that problem. Anyway. Uh, the case back, pretty standard, pretty standard Seiko flare. They make one case back and they distribute it to a thousand different watches. You can see that not very well dressed 7S26 movement, which is fine because it's more of a workhorse, workhorse than a, uh, than a, uh, stylish movement, I guess. <laughs> uh, I cannot brain. So what else can we talk about? We've got the bezel. The side of the bezel is actually really nice. Uh, I like this bezel better than I do the uh, the SKX. Uh, it has a nice brushing on the side and the insides of the notches as well as the top of the bezel are polished. So there is a nice little transition. The only thing about it is that the, the very top of the bezel, this edge right here that goes around on the outside of the insert, it's kind of rough. And you can see it. Uh, give it a good little polish, and it can make it real nice. So it'll it'll sh it'll shimmer really nicely around in a circle when you're in the right light. So not a big deal, easily fixed. Uh, what else can we talk about here? Hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, talked about the bracelet. We're gonna do the loom test and the strap change later. Um, okay, well, I don't have my controller of justice, so I'm gonna have to use my phone to get to the measurements. But that's okay because I have an app, so let's just get to the measurements, shall we? All right, case. I got 41.2 millimeters, but in the last video with the SNZ F15, I got 41.5, so something's a little off with my caliper lug to lug 48.9 in the last video i got 48.7 lug with 22 millimeters on the dot though so both videos i got 22 millimeters i think uh, thickness 12.7 in the last video i got 12.8 so a little bit off the tomato 39.1 millimeters and that's a good size good size and uh, there it is on my wrist really good size <laughs> uh, okay so let's do the loom test, shall we? Let's do the loom test. Get the tomato out of the way, and we're gonna put the 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 SNZ F17, aka urchin, onto the onto this thing here, and then we're gonna compare it against the its bigger brother, the Seiko Monster, and also why not Orient Blu-ray too? Okay, there we go. Everything is all nice and synced. And uh, there we go. So, I'm going to get my flashlight. I'm going to turn down the... Actually, I'm not going to turn down the ISO because this camera is weird. And uh, I'm going to leave it alone. ISO 400. Uh, let's see. That is not what I'm seeing with my face balls. So, let's go up a little bit. ISO 800. That's more like what I'm seeing. Okay. So, I'm going to do this. Gosh, I get blinded every time I do this. So... Yeah. yeah, right, okay, oh, all right. there we go. So on the left is the urchin, in the middle is the monster, and on the right is the Blu-ray 2. And uh, judging from what I'm seeing in the camera as well as my face, this is useless. <laughs> They're all really good. They're all really good. The monster obviously has more surface area, more. Um, but they're they're all really good. I think they're all really good. Initially, they're all they're all pretty bright, and I love I love the I love that blue bluish white light in the background from the tablet. It's just giving it such a nice effect. So these will last uh, at, at bright levels for about maybe five minutes before they they, they get subdued into their their long term glow, which should last hours. But uh, there you go, uh, the SNZ F17, pretty good. Holds its own against the monster and the Blu-ray too. All right, so get the, back down to ISO 400 and lights back on. Get these out of here, and let's start with some strap changes. Okay, so I'm not going to show you the process because it's going to take a long time. But here we go. I forgot to put it on my wrist. I'm not going to put the, the straps on until I put it on my wrist. Let's take off this crap here. Uh, Take this off, take off the $12 Casio, and then put this on my wrist here. See how I threw the Casio? I didn't care. I don't care about it. It's $12. It'll probably last to the year 2070. Uh, and there you go. There's some on my wrist, and uh, it's kind of tight. I, I ate a lot of salty things today, but it looks good. It looks good. It feels good, and uh, not too big, not too small, not too sweet, not too rancid, but um, just right. I think it's one of the most perfect watches for the money. Uh, it has it has a good robust feel. It's a tool watch. You can go swimming with it. It looks good. People tend to mistake it for Rolex <laughs> because they don't know. Um, yeah, that's that's on my that's on my wrist. Okay, strap time changes. So let's get the tomato to get it. Okay, first on the list is this camo nato. Uh, a nice little natal strap. I kind of, I really like this. I like this combo. It's nice. Let me put it on my wrist here. Guys, I'm just going to take it away from the camera real quick. Pop, pop. One speed. Nope. Two speeds. Nope. Losing. Lost the game. Damn it, guys. Lost the game. And, uh, all right. I'm going to put it on my wrist. Oops. Too tight. Cutting circulation. It's cutting circulation. Going to have to amputate pretty soon. But, uh, there you go. Oh, so yeah, oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, look at the see, look how tight I made it. Gosh, uh, hands turning purple. It's turning purple. No, it's not. 
just a little tight. <laughs> Ugh. But yeah, it's really nice. What do you guys think about the, the camo natal combination? Um, definitely safe, definitely the safest strap situation you can you can use for this watch. But uh, let's try something else. Okay, here we go with a brownie brown. Oh, this is kind of nice, yeah? This is a brownie brown strap from De Beer. The De Beer strap is actually really affordable. I think it's like 12 bucks maybe, but... I do like the way this looks. It's very chocolatey. Very, it's very delicious looking. It's delicious. I want to eat it. I want to have it with ramen and eat it. I don't know about that. <laughs> Put it on my little wrist. This strap is good for little wrists up to about uh, six and a half inches. That's 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 just too tight. Oh well. Anything below then it might not fit. But uh, oh yeah, yeah. It's it's got enough circulation. What is wrong with me? I am. I am that guy. I'm that guy that does that thing. <laughs> oh yeah, take two. Oh yeah, I like that. Look at that. This is a really nice combination. I like that. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, here we are with a slightly uh, lighter brown. It's like a burnt honey color. Uh, and then this is a JP Leatherworks 22 millimeter. And I think I like this too. This is really nice too. Gosh. Yeah, I like that. And, uh, you know, I'll put whatever straps I feel like. It's some people are like, don't put leathery nice straps on uh, uh, diver watches. I sound like Uncle Jimmy. Um, but you know what? You put whatever the frick you want to put on it, on a watch. And this is not a diver watch, by the way. This is just a Seiko 5 sports watch. It's not a diver's watch. Um, but that, that looks good. That looks real good. I like that. I think I like this one a little bit more than the previous De Beer strap. What do you guys think? Yeah? All right. All right. Here it is with a black strap, black croc pattern, and oh, yeah. What do you guys think about that one? I like it. It's very... It's very clean. It's very. It's a very clean look. I like that. Oh man, look at that. Focus time. Focus. Come on, man. Oh my gosh. There you go. So it's a very clean look to it. Yeah. Put it on my wrist. This this might be my favorite one. This might be my favorite one. And guys, this is the first time I'm putting this these straps on this watch no joke and uh oh yeah oh she's she is a good girl isn't she yeah look at that class it up a little bit now she's a little bit more expensive um gonna have to uh dish out a little bit more money for the nights <laughs> because she's a dirty little hooker um yeah i like that i like that all right there's another shot of it I, I like it. I like it a lot. Jeez. Okay, next one. All right, and now we have it on a sailcloth strap from Mr. Sailcloth, and wow, this is also really nice. Um, gosh, I'm torn between this one and the other one. Uh, this is super nice. Let me put it on my wrist. This is really, really nice. And this one will allow you to take a shower and go swimming with it and it you won't uh, it shouldn't should it be a big deal oh yeah look at that uh oh, man look at that look at the way that you can see the the uh, stitchings from the top it's this is very striking this is very striking i love it i love it uh okay we're gonna put it back on the bracelet and talk about some more things but gosh hmm should i Nah, I'm gonna put it back on the bracelet because I do like this on the bracelet, but uh, having some major second thoughts now. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, we're back and it's back on the bracelet, looking all shiny and majestic like. And let's just bring Uncle Jimmy into the picture here. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Uncle Jimmy, so what do you think about this watch? It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that? <laughs> Why do you say that, Uncle Jimmy? Because 
I, I don't I don't really care. You keep doing these watch videos, watch after watch after watch after watch, and it's cool, whatever. It pays it pays some of the bills, but I I, I want to go someplace. I'm tired. I, I want to go someplace cool like we did last time and go on an adventure. That was cool. That was real cool. Well, Uncle Jimmy, we can't really afford that right now because of the whole job situation. But uh, maybe if it, if it gets to the point where we can do that, um, yeah, guys, if uh, if you. If you want to support the channel and help us to do cool things like that, uh, click on the Patreon link below. I am Ted. Yes, you are Ted. You are Ted. I am Ted. Yes, you are Ted. I'm Ted. I think he's having a stroke. I'm Ted. Yeah, you guys, um, <laughs> whatever. So, yeah, um, if you want to support this channel, help us to get better, better things and better sites and cool new things to do. Um... Click on that Patreon link. No pressure. If you want us, if you want to help us out, no big deal. We're gonna keep on doing it anyway. So yeah, thanks guys. So in conclusion, that um, that's the review. I like this watch. You can get it for relatively cheap right now. Uh, I don't think you'd be unhappy. I am gonna mod it. Not sure what I'm gonna do with the mods yet. Uh, I really like the dial. I really really like the dial, and I might leave that alone. I like the hands too. Might leave them alone, uh, or I might uh, change them. So I'm thinking I'm just going to change the insert and maybe put a crystal. Or I'll just go full bottles and change up everything. <laughs> we'll see. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Mm.